Gordon Graham here, and thanks in advance for taking the time to watch this video. I am very, very excited to share my thoughts about the importance of the ISO, the Incident Safety Officer, and the HSO, the Health and Safety Officer. For those of you who know me, this is my 40th year in addressing fire service personnel. And if you've been to any of my live programs or you've watched my Today's Tip videos, you know my focus in life is on the management of risk. Here's the bottom line for me. Most of what you do in fire service operations, long before anybody ever heard of me, you are doing those things right. I'm very proud of your work and you should be also. But sometimes things don't go right. And when things don't go right, there are significant consequences. Of course, there's the lawsuits, the embarrassments, and possibly even criminal charges. But the biggest and most important one, in my opinion, is injury and death in the workplace. I'll admit it, I have never done your job, but I have spent a ton of time studying your tragedies, looking for the cause, and not just the proximate cause, the event that instantly preceded the tragedy, but the real problems lying in wait, the problems that ultimately led to the tragedy. Now to the reason I'm talking to you today, the importance of the incident safety officer and the health and safety officer. You might be thinking, well, Gordy, we like what you're saying, but we can't afford to do that. In my way of thinking, you cannot afford not to be doing this. A certified ISO will work to identify these problems lying in wait and then implement appropriate control measures to prevent tragedies from ever occurring. Choosing not to have an ISO in place is in itself a problem lying in wait. And I think that decision will come back to haunt you in the future. Similarly, a qualified HSO will be up to speed on the latest fire ground tactics. The HSO will be able to address specific incidents and behaviors to help prevent things like cancer and PTSD. As you go through the Safety Forum program, pay attention to the subject matter experts. They will provide proven strategies and tactics. They will help to equip you so that you can address issues proactively. I believe this will help reduce civil and criminal liability exposure, but more importantly, it'll help better protect the women and men in your organization and the communities that you protect and serve. For more information about ISO and HSO certifications or about the 2019 Annual Health and Safety Forum, please visit the Fire Department Safety Officers Association website at www.fdsoa.org. And if you ever need anything from me, drop me an email at gram at lexable.com. And please visit lexable.com to see what Lexable can do for you to improve your agency's operations. Again, thanks for watching the video. Good day to you all.